I'm out exploring Lodi, uh, showing you guys the art that we haven't shown or seen before. Uh, so just follow me. So this is the great blue herring bench and uh, it was created by the Lodi community and guided by the Davis Rock Art and the downtown Lodi Farmers Market. It's right in front of the post office and it's a functional art. It's an actual bench. You can like sit down and enjoy downtown perfect for coming to farmers market and just sitting there and enjoying enjoying Lodi so this one is called the bookworm and it's another functional art piece in Lodi it's a bike rack it's in front of the Lodi Public Library it was created by Jared Mays and uh, it's at the entrance of the public library. And this, this is the Lodi rocks that we have uh, in Lodi. In front of the library they got a, they got a little Lodi rock garden and it has some like really creative uh, painted rocks that one is crazy that one has like some really cool colors let me focus it that one has some cool colors um, it's just rocks from the community so around around the corner from the bookworm piece of art they have the Lodi Sand Hill Crane Festival, and it's this big old piece of art on the wall right at the entrance of the public library. It, uh, it's celebrating 20 years of Sand Hill Crane Appreciation, Education, and Conservative Conservation in the Lodi community. It was created by the public and Donna Billick and her rock art team at the 2016 Sand Hill Crane Festival. Plaques right there, that's what I'm reading. Uh, it's really cool, it's, it's beautiful, man. It's made really well. I love it. I love it. So, this one is called the wave and if you can see like it's all it goes all the way around and it would it's a mosaic it was created by Joni Selman it was created by Joni Selman Price and it's a tile mosaic and if you can look at it it's all little like tiles just put it along the way. That must have taken forever because I don't know how you make tile mosaics. I know you crush the tile and then you put it in there. So I'm assuming that's how they did make this one. And it's on the top and it's on the side and it just goes forever. It's a really nice piece of art. Never seen it. It's at, uh, it's at the Van Buskirk park on Daisy and North Pleasanton Avenue. It's really cool. Just check it out. So this is a mural. I don't think it has a name, does it? No, it doesn't have a name. And uh, it was created by Tony Segal. He's the owner of the Double Dip Gallery and he is actually he's actually responsible for a lot of the art in Lodi. He covered the bear on the arch in uh, gold leaf also and uh, if 
And uh, this weekend, he's actually, on Saturday, he's going to have a block party in front of his ice cream shop. So if you guys want to check that out, uh, you should go check it out. They're going to have a raffle. They're going to have ice cream. They're going to have good old-fashioned music and fun. And I'll post a screenshot of it in the comments so you guys can see more of the details. So this... If you've ever driven by Westgate and Kettleman, it's like right across uh, Walmart, right next to Chili's. They have this thing on the corner, it's called the Grape Wall Elodi. And it was created by Suzanne Dan Heffelser and Kirk Beck. I might be messing up their name, but it's a mosaic. And it depicts like Lodi agriculture. It has like little grapes on the on the top, and it has like birds, and it just depicts Lodi. And what's great about this is that you know Lodi doesn't just have murals; they have mosaics. And this is like a really big mosaic, and it's really really cool. It's interesting. That's it, Lodi. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, I kind of explored a little bit more of the art in Lodi, and there's still a ton of more art to show. Um, and you guys should go and explore it. You guys should go and check it out. Come look at the mosaic. You know, it's it's really nice. Uh, make sure you guys follow and you know support it, like it and uh share it please and um thank you for your time and i'll see you next time <laughs>